Hello folks, and this is Tiny Games Lab. I'm back with a new Game Maker Studio tutorial, a new game mechanic tutorial. This is gonna be a Flatbird clone game. I know you guys are thinking, okay, not another Flatbird clone game, but the idea is just to show you guys how simple it is to make an endless runner like this. So the objectives for this session are to create a parallax effect and show you how easy it is to do it. Spawn objects uh, for an endless runner, so that's how we're gonna make it. Create a state machine using scripts. This is actually an idea from the Nesverse tutorials. This guy has been commenting a lot on my videos, thank you very much for that. And he's got a great channel on song making this either for games or in general, so go check him out. And he gave me this idea to do it like this and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Also, we're gonna be creating an awesome game mechanic as always. So in this game, we're gonna be able to press space, and when we press space, our player is going, our player is gonna go up, and it has to go through these obstacles and increases its score as it goes through. If it hits the obstacle or if it hits the edge of the room, it's gonna die and start all over. Okay, so what is our game composed of? Basically, a room. I don't know if you can make a game with our room, but uh, this is the basic stuff. Then, in this room, we're gonna have a player. This player is gonna be this sprite right here. It's gonna be affected by gravity. And whenever we press space, it's gonna give it an upwards jump. Okay, so we're gonna have also an object controller. It's gonna be an invisible object. And this object is gonna control pretty much our obstacles and all. So we're gonna have obstacles and how are they going to work? Our object controller is going to use a random function to spawn an obstacle in one of the Y positions like this. So it's going to be using a random formula that's going to choose a random position in Y. This position is going to spawn an obstacle below and one on top of that position. So we're going to just, just using some offset or something like that. And this obstacle is going to start moving towards the player and that gives us the effect that actually the player is moving forwards. Okay, whenever we hit a certain point in our room or whenever the timer goes out, the object controller is going to spawn a new obstacle at a new Y position. So that's basically it. So we're going to spawn new objects, obstacles like this and then everything keeps moving forward towards the player. The player is going to jump to try to go through the obstacles so we're gonna have a score, and whenever the play goes through, this score is going to increase. So like that, it goes from 0 to 1. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna use also a parallax background for this game. So let me move that backwards. And that's achieved by having a background. In this case, I'm going to use clouds. And you're gonna move also left-wise, but it's gonna be at a slower speed than the obstacles and this gives us a parallax effect, okay? And we're gonna be using a state machine as always, so this time we're gonna use a script to run it. So I'm gonna have three states, that's pause state, it's going to be related to the script state pause, then the play state, and then the dead state, okay? I'm going to do that through a num, an enumerator, and actually what I'm going to do here, instead of just enumerating the states, I'm gonna also assign them a variable and this is going to be the script name and then on my player step event everything I have to do is just execute this script that's going to be uh, my global dot my state variable okay so let's head to game maker I'm going to start by creating my sprites my first sprite is going to be my sprite tower Okay, so let me find the asset, uh, where is my sprite, okay, tutorials, flappy, there you go. I'm gonna center the exposition, okay, and I'm gonna leave the Y at the top. Also, I'm gonna add now my player sprite, okay, sprite player. I'm gonna center also, but I'm gonna center to the player uh, body, let's say, and I'm gonna change my bounding box. I'm gonna remove the left side of it, okay, so only the player itself has a mask of uh, collision. I'm gonna add my background, for that I'm gonna do background clouds, I'm gonna also to load my sprite, remade sprite, just a couple clouds, actually it's three clouds, okay, there we go. And 
I'm gonna add a font. I'm gonna call it F baby. And let me find this font here, size 48, and click OK, and it's gonna import that font to your game. Okay, click it twice on the OK. Now everything is frozen, but okay, there we go. So I'm start by adding my controller object. Okay, I'm gonna add a depth of 100 to that controller object because I'm gonna use it to set the to draw the square to the screen, so I want it to be in the background. So I'm gonna start by creating a state machine. So and I'm state. Let's open it. Okay. It's gonna be my first state called pause is equal to script state pause. Okay. Second one is gonna be play equal to script state play. And the third one is gonna be dead equals to script state dead. Okay. I made a mistake of play. There you go. And I made a mistake of dead. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna set my global, my state variable to state.pause, so we start the game paused. Then I'm gonna set my stage speed, global.stage speed to 7, that's the speed where things move left, and I'm gonna start the timer at 0. Then on my step event, let's head there, I'm gonna start my code by checking my state. So if the state global dot my state is equal to the state of play. Okay, if we're playing the game, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove from from my timer, and I'm gonna check if my timer is equal or less than zero. I'm gonna add obstacles to the game. Okay, so let's do add obstacles. Perfect. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, let me just add an obstacle object just so we can reference it easily. So it's gonna call object tower. There we go. And let's do the random check-in. So random y is equal to random range between 120 and the room height minus 120. So that gives us a buffer of 120 pixels each way. Okay. And my new object, new obstacle is going to be instance create room width plus 60. So I'm creating outside of the room. Sorry. There you go. And my random y position, that's the position that I just picked upwards, minus 60 pixels, so it's 60 pixels to the top of it, and object top, okay? And what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna set a toggle variable to 1, this is going to be used for the score, and I'm also going to set my image y scale to minus 1, so it just flips the image around, since this is the top obstacle. I'm gonna repeat this instance creation here, there we go. So the top one is the top obstacle, this one is gonna be the bottom obstacle. So everything I have to do is just switch around the y to plus 60, there you go. And this, this way we have both obstacles. And I'm gonna set the timer back to 45, so each 45 frames it's gonna add the obstacles to the screen. Okay, on my draw event itself, let me set my color. So I'm going to call it RGB, 34, 118, 188, perfect. Let me set my font also to font baby, and there we go. And let's start drawing. So I'm going to use an if. So if my global state equals to state pause, or if we're pausing the game, I'm going to draw something. Otherwise, I'm going to draw something else. So I'm going to set my age alignment. So horizontal alignment to FA center. Okay, I'm gonna center the text. And I'm gonna set my vertical alignment also to FA, FA middle. So I'm gonna center vertically also. And I'm gonna draw text that is room width, sorry, divided by two, X position. The Y is gonna be middle of the room also. Room height divided by two. Now, let's do it maybe. 64, so it's on the top of the screen. Yeah, probably that probably would be better. Oh, well, I don't know. Let's do press space play. Okay, perfect. Let's switch it to 64. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna set my background speed or horizontal speed of my background zero to zero. So my clouds are not moving before I start playing the game. Okay, on my else statement, I'm gonna copy this 
I'm gonna set my horizontal line to left. Okay, keep the middle there. And I'm gonna draw text. That's gonna be my score. So I'm gonna draw it at 3264 and it's gonna be the score variable. And I'm gonna set my background speed to my global dot stage speed. Okay, times 0 0.3, negative everything. So it's actually moving 30% of the speed of the obstacles itself. Okay, so for the object tower, that's our obstacle. I'm gonna start by setting a toggle variable to zero. So every obstacle has this toggle variable. And on my step event, what I'm going to do, I'm changing the exposition to minus global stage speed. And if my X position is equal to minus 60, I'm gonna destroy it. So if I have gone 60 pixels to the left of the screen, I'm gonna destroy myself since I'm out of the screen already, okay? And if my X position is less than my object player, let me just create object player here so I can reference it. There you go. So if my X position is less or equal to my player X position and my toggle variable is equal to one, I'm gonna add to my score, so score, sorry, score plus plus, there you go. And I'm gonna set my toggle to zero. So since only the top, uh, obstacle has the toggle variable equals to one. I'm only adding one to the score each time. Okay, let me set my sprite to the object tower. Let me set my sprite to player. Player is going to be really easy. It's just a step event, and the step event is only containing one line: the script execute yes function, and it's going to execute my global dot my state. And that's basically it for the player. Cool, huh? So my scripts, let me add three scripts. The first one's gonna be script state play. Sorry, there you go. Okay, so on my play state, I'm gonna check for my input, which is the space. So if the keyboard check pressed, virtual key space is pressed, I'm gonna run some code. I'm gonna add to my vertical speed minus 20 so i'm going upwards okay perfect i'm gonna also set my maximum speed both uh, downwards and upwards so v speed is equals to clamp my v speed minus 10 plus 10 perfect i'm also going to adjust my image angle i'm going to do that by image angle equals to point direction so i'm going to use some math sorry point direction okay from zero zero to my global dot stage speed that's my x value and my y value is going to be my v speed perfect let me check also if we have hit any spikes or if we're outside of the screen so have we hit any obstacle have we hit uh, the screen itself okay so if place meeting my x and y place okay to the object tower and or actually my Y position is greater than the room height or okay, have I gone upward, uh, downwards too far or if I less than zero have I gone upwards too far that's when I'm gonna die so I'm gonna set my vertical speed to zero and I'm change my state to global dot my state equals to state dot add okay so that's how I die perfect I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna use it in a second my input let's add the second script it's gonna be script state that okay so what i'm going to do when i die i'm going to change my stage speed to zero so the stage stops scrolling the background also is going to stop scrolling everything's going to stop scrolling and i'm going to set my if my y is equal or greater than my room height or plus 60 so i'm giving some space for my player to go downwards and if that's reached what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set my score to zero and I'm going to restart my room. This means that I have fallen off the screen and I'm dead. And I'm going to add the last one, that's going to be script state pause. I'm going to use that code that I have copied, that's my input. Okay, so if I'm paused and if I press space, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my gravity to 0 0.4 and I'm going to set my global my state to state of place. So now every single state is actually communicating to the other state okay so let's add a room the room is going to be 720 by 405 
let's add the controller object, no matter where, the player object, uh, this looks good to me, okay, a little bit to the left, yeah, there we go, okay, and background, let's add my background color, I don't like this, so let's set 135, 209, 238, perfect, I'm gonna set my clouds as my background image also, and let's try it. Okay, I have an error, let's check, on my controller, create event, and my error is, okay, I don't need this. There we go, let's hit again, and check. Okay, game looks, okay, it's not working at all, okay, so it looks nice states are working but looks like the game is not working upwards so state of play seems to be working okay I'm switching states all right let me check my controller object uh, my script okay I'm changing oh there you go I wasn't actually changing state to this state play let's try it again and I got an error let me see what happened to these errors so let me close everything down okay and okay there you go i had a typo mistake there and let's try it again perfect as you can see i can actually play the game now so whenever i hit space my player jumps and i can go through the hoops and i get my increased score if i hit anything on the way i actually die so it's working quite well very fairly easy to do thank you very much for following me all the way through, through here. Sorry for my mistakes and my typos along the way. And if you like this video, please click on that like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please click on that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of new videos, click on that bell button. This is very important to me, so I know you guys are liking what you're seeing and I can make more content to you. If you have any suggestions like Nesverse did on last videos, please leave that on the comment section below and I'll try to comment to them and I can try to include them on my next videos. Also if you have an idea of next videos you want to see just leave them on the comment below and I'll try to make a game like that. Okay thank you very much and I'll see you next.